Living with less. Minimalism. After leaving your job. Quitting your job can be a life-altering experience filled with both excitement and uncertainty. It opens up new possibilities for how to spend your time and resources. For many, this transition serves as an excellent opportunity to embrace minimalism, an intentional lifestyle focused on living with less. By shedding excess belongings, obligations, and stressors, you can create space for what truly matters in your life. Here's how to adopt minimalism after leaving your job. Number number one, understanding minimalism. At its core, minimalism is about simplifying your life. It encourages you to remove physical, emotional, and mental clutter to make room for experiences, relationships, and personal growth. Understanding this philosophy will help you align your actions with your new lifestyle goals. Number two, reflect on your goals and values. Leaving a job often prompts a period of self-reflection. Take this time to evaluate what you truly want from life. Ask yourself, what brings me joy and fulfillment? What values do I want to prioritize moving forward? How can I align my lifestyle with these values? By clarifying your goals, you can make more intentional choices about how you spend your time and resources. Three, uh, declutter your physical space. One of the first steps in adopting a minimalist lifestyle is decluttering your physical environment. Begin by going through your belongings room by room. Sort through items. Create three categories. Keep, donate, and discard. Be ruthless. If an item doesn't serve a purpose or bring you joy, let it go. Focus on quality. Aim to keep items that are durable and meaningful rather than just filling space. A decluttered space can lead to a clearer mind and a more peaceful environment. Four, reassess your financial habits. Without a regular paycheck, it's essential to reevaluate your financial habits. Minimalism can help you reduce expenses and prioritize your spending. Here are some strategies. Create a budget. Track your income and expenses to identify where you can cut back. Limit unnecessary expenses. Cancel subscriptions or memberships that you no longer use or need. Focus on needs versus wants. Prioritize essential purchases and think critically about new items before buying. By managing your finances wisely, you can extend your savings while living a fulfilling life. Number five, embrace minimalist mindfulness. Minimalism is not just about physical possessions. It's also about cultivating a mindset of mindfulness. This involves being present and making conscious choices about how you live your life. Practice mindfulness through meditation. Spend time each day to center yourself and reflect on your thoughts and feelings. Journaling. Write down your experiences and emotions to better understand your journey toward minimalism. Mindful consumption. Before making a purchase, consider its necessity and long-term impact on your life. This mindful approach will help you focus on what adds value and meaning to your life. Number six, prioritize experiences over possessions. Minimalism encourages you to invest in experiences rather than material goods. This shift in focus can lead to greater satisfaction and happiness. Consider traveling. If feasible, use your time off to explore new places, cultures, and ideas. Learning. Take courses or workshops to develop new skills and hobbies. Connecting. Spend quality time with friends and family to strengthen relationships. These experiences can lead to lasting memories and personal growth, enriching your life in ways that possessions cannot. 7. Establish a routine that reflects minimalism. Create a daily routine that aligns with your minimalist lifestyle. This can help you stay organized and focused on your priorities. Include time for self-care. Dedicate time for exercise, relaxation, and personal interests. Simplicity in tasks. Limit your daily to-do list to a few essential tasks to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Regular reflection. Schedule time each week to assess your progress and adjust your goals as needed. A well-structured routine can bring stability and clarity during this transitional phase.